This video is a little different than my previous videos. I'm going to start this video with a very stern warning. What I'm about to show you in this video is not supported by Cisco, and therefore I would not recommend doing this outside of a lab environment. If you call tag or break something, you are not going to get support on this. That being said, I'm going to show you how to hack the ICE API a little and create new profiles with Postman. Now you might be wondering why I'm making a video about something that I don't recommend using in production, and that would be a good question. The reason being is that there is still a great use case here. Now let's say you download a bulk endpoint dump from your production environment and you need to create a bulk amount of profiles. You can create these profiles in a lab environment with great speed using this method, and when done you can download those profiles from the lab environment of ICE, since they're just an XML format, and import those profiles into your production instance in one bulk import in the GUI. It's a time saver to create the profiles that way in the lab without re uh, risk to your production environment. I can't take credit for this method that I'm about to show you. I have to give credit to Metha from Lab Minutes for that. I actually discovered this use for Postman while watching his SDA series. If you'd like to learn more about SDA, I highly recommend checking it out at labminutes.com. To start out this lab, I'm going to pull up Postman. We're going to want to set up Postman as our proxy so we can capture the API calls to ICE. To enable the proxy functionality in Postman, I'll click on the satellite icon on my top right-hand corner. I'm going to leave the default port for the proxy at 5555, and the target will be my history. We'll click Connect to enable this feature. Next, I'll go to the proxy settings on my computer. For the proxy address, I'm going to type in localhost, and the port will be 5555. I'll click OK to save those settings. Next, I'll want to clear out the cache and cookies in my browser, so I'll navigate to the settings and do so. I should just be able to type in cookies on top and it should pull it up. Now that that's completed, I'm going to navigate back to ICE. One thing to note here is that you need to enter a DNS resolvable URL into your browser or else it won't work. If you try to navigate to the IP address of the ICE server, you'll just get an error. You will get a certificate error even if your ICE instance has a trusted certificate. This is because you're locally proxying through Postman, so just with that in mind, accept the certificate errors in this case. Before logging into ICE, let's just pull up Postman for a moment. As we can see here, there are a lot of GET requests and a POST request in the history, so we know that the proxying is working. Now I'm going to go ahead and log into ICE. Let me go ahead and resize ICE, just to make it a little easier to see while we're doing this. Next, I'm going to navigate to Policy and then Profiling. Before I start configuring anything, I'm going to go back to Postman and clear out the history to keep this very clean. Let's go ahead and click Add to create a profile in the ICE GUI so we can simulate the API call that we need to learn. I'm going to name this profile abc-test-mac-oui, and for the rule, I'm going to specify the condition as Mac OUI contains abc. Then I'll click Submit to finish creating that profile. So let's go back to Postman. We can see a new post API call. It should be the only post call that we see, so it's pretty obvious that this is our profile creation. A couple of important things to call out. The request itself is a POST request, and the URL that it's posting to is on top. We have the header of the request under the Header tab. We'll come back to that. Then we have the body of the request. I'm going to copy that body to a notepad. Now let's say I want to create another profile looking for a Mac OUI that contains Lenovo. Using the Replace option in Notepad, I'm going to replace every instance of ABC with Lenovo in the body of this text. Now that that is done, I have the body for an API call to create a new profile based on Mac OUI with, that contains Lenovo. Let's go back to Postman and put this to use. I'm going to create a new request. I'll name it Ice Profile. I'll add it to a collection for Ice Profile so I can reuse it again if I want. 
This new request is going to be a post request, so I'll select that from the dropdown. I'm going to copy the post URL from the other request and paste it into my new request. We're going to use the same header from the previous request. To grab all the information at once, click Bulk Edit, and that'll let me copy it all. Going back over to my new request, I'm going to click the Header tab and choose Bulk Edit. I'll paste the header from the other request into here. Now I'm going to configure the body, which means I'll copy my notepad contents. And on the body tab, I'll switch to raw format and paste it there. Now let's see what happens when we click send to send this request. It fails without a response. We actually need to disable the proxy on our computer settings first. Going back to my computer's proxy settings, let's uncheck the box for a proxy. Then let's click Send again. As you can see here, we get a very happy message saying that our policy was created. Let's take a look in the iSCSI to verify that this profile was created. I'm going to filter and look for anything that contains the word Lenovo. There's my Lenovo Test Mac OUI profile created for my API call. I'm going to go into this profile and see that the condition that it's checking for is Mac OUI containing Lenovo. As one can see, this can be a useful trick to quickly modify the body of a request and create profiles in a very timely manner. Of course, again, this is not supported by Cisco and it's not something I would tell anyone to use in a production system. If you do decide to do this, create these profiles in a lab ISVM and export those profiles from that system into production. If you'd like to see the supported APIs for ICE, navigate to Administration, System, and Settings, and then go to ERS Settings on the left-hand side. The first thing you want to check on this screen is to make sure that Enable ERS for Read-Write is set. You can click on the ERS SDK link to see the officially supported API functions. And with that, that ends our video on using the API to create ICE profiles. Again, please use this method responsibly and not in production. And if you do break something, don't call TAC because they probably won't support it. So only do this in a lab.